definitely already was already. I see what you're saying about the border, so I know next time updating this would need to be a border to separate and everything, but I don't even think I'm keeping this, really. Why is that? I don't know. Um, because, so I did all this last night and everything with the doors and everything. Um, I had the other doors in there, which is why I went with this color scheme. Yeah. Um, but now that I have this in here, you know, in between time, this gives me time to kind of like, refine it to make it I don't know make it more than what it is because it's boring to me like it, you're right like I already see this that the walls like even even with the floors the floors I mean even those need to be redone a thousand percent agree but the materials on the wall are it bothered me anyway mm -hmm. they've been bothering me um just because they just look like everything else and this doesn't it's not separated enough so let me and let me show you a trick let me show you a trick that you can do with the floor right uh -huh. um go into this um go into hallway a and go into environment over in your scene list hierarchy yep. and create a quad And call it okay. call it new floor. Okay. Now when when you find it, just flip it to where it's flat and is facing up like a floor tile. There you go. And then now stretch it out so big that it's literally big enough to um, to take care of that entire lab area or that entire um, living area. Yep. And... Um, you can perfect, you know, you can perfect it later or whatever as far as the size, but as long as it's just close enough for now, it'll be okay. And then now we're gonna find us find a um, find a floor material that you think would tile well, and um, apply it to that. So it could be like a, uh, you know, more of a home style decoration. Uh, could even be carpet, but you know, just probably like more like a tile will be a better fit for what we're trying to do. Yeah, it's got to be a round material. It's got to be an orb, orb material in order to use it.
Now, even that, right? <laughs> do you see how much? Do you see how much more the walls look better now? You see what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. because why? Because your eyes can tell the difference between what is a wall and what is the floor, right? Yeah. Clearly, this is the floor, right? Clearly, this is a wall. Not uh, all this is kind of blending together in my eye. You see what I'm saying? Now, yeah. it takes, I've been doing this for four years, right? And the very first thing that I was doing was levels. I didn't care about coding. I didn't care about shit. I was like, I want to make these graphics look pretty as a motherfucker. Yeah. Okay? That was all I was doing for about the first year was just, ooh, look at this pretty tree. Ooh, look at this pretty, uh, uh, that was all I was doing, right? Yeah. So, my my focus has always been big time about getting the look to look right. Like as soon as you load the screen up, it's like, bam. Right. And so I'm not saying you have to use this wood grain. I'm just saying that look how much better the level looks now. Right. Yeah. Because now it's like, wow, I'm in this laboratory, but it's also has a very nice luxurious type of feel. Right. Yeah. Now, again, you're in a living area. So are they going to have wood grain in an entire research laboratory? No. No, they wouldn't. But they might do wood grain in a common area because it's more relaxing. It's more like, oh, I'm at home. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, so, again, I'm not married to this wood grain. I just wanted you to put anything in there that would – and to me, the wood grain actually offsets – how clinical the laboratory feels right yeah and now when you move into more laboratory areas you're gonna know it you're gonna be like oh i'm in a lab now see what i'm saying yeah. i was just in the hallway i was just in like the living room you know but um but again it's like when it comes to graphics people's eyes it's not like when you're really in reality it's almost like you have to over exaggerate things in order to make the graphics look crisp. So like again, if you A B so turn off this quad. Actually okay. zoom zoom down to like eye level. Go to eye level like you're looking at the room in like a reasonable fashion. There you go. Now turn off the wood grain. Okay. Turn off that quad. Whoa. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, how much more orientated do you feel with the wood than with the original thing that you had in there, right? And so that is, that's what you always want to constantly be trusting your eyes. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like, trust your eyes, trust your eyes, and always just try stuff. Like, before, before you drop that wood grain in there, if you had told me, let me try a wood grain, right? In my mind, I would, I would have been thinking, I have no idea if it's going to work, right? Yeah. But as soon as you dropped it in, I went, oh, yeah, right? It's not necessarily perfect, right? But like, watch this. Let me show you a trick. Go to that wood material. Yeah. Go zoom back down to eye level. I always do things from eye level. I, I never, I never do anything from some weird angle because I'm like, I'm never going to see the game from that angle. That's just a tip. That's just a little tip. Go into that wood material and see how you're set to pure white. Yep. Go in there and let's shift that until you feel like it somehow is better or works better. Yeah, something like this a little bit. Actually, lighter the lighter looks like something like this. Right. If we you was you notice that. you notice how you notice how when it was at full white, it almost had that cartoon game type of look. Yeah. You know, it just wasn't quite something about it wasn't quite right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't horrible. Okay. 
wasn't horrible, but you know, it almost had a little bit of that cartoonish or fakeish type of look, right? I think what you did there is you brought the brightness down, right? To where the brightness doesn't feel brighter than the scene. Now the brightness feels like realistic to the scene. Yeah. And and again, just like you did, you can play with the the hue. You don't have to just stay on the white to black. You can shift it over towards red a little bit. You can shift it, you know, you can go whatever direction. Usually with wood, I usually end up trying it going towards red or whatever it may be, you know. Because, again, red is a natural color that's inside wood. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Now, you, yeah. can stain, you can stain wood any color, right? But red is naturally inside um, wood grains and tends to make a, a luxurious type looking wood to me. You know, yeah, but, um, but dude, yeah. So right there, you know, again, that's just that's just giving you another direction to go in mentally, right? Yeah. Of of what you can do with um getting the different parts of the level to feel much more. Because uh, right here, looking at this scene, I feel like I'm in a real space, right? I feel I instantly feel like, oh, okay, I can imagine this being real in the back of my yeah. mind. And um and as you go through the other labs, you'll start to notice that as well with the one tweak. Literally, if we walked away from this lab right now and never touched it again, I'd be okay with it. Does that make sense? Yeah. B before not so much. Before I'm like, oh, we need to tweak this, right? And yeah. am, am I saying this is perfect? No, not at all. I'm just saying that if we were to say, hey, we got to release this game tomorrow, right? Yeah. I'd be like, okay, well, we're not tweaking the wood floor anymore. We're done with that. <laughs> right? Okay. So, okay. But, but I'm, just, I'm just putting that into perspective. You see what I'm saying? Like, before I felt like we had an issue. Now I feel like, okay, this is fixed and we could – come back to it, tweak it. Again, I know you're going to tweak stuff in your own time, and that's fine. Like, And I want you to just take that mindset that we just looked at with this room and just kind of go through the whole level one more time, right? Yeah. And just kind of think about it. Be like, you know what? I could probably try this here, you know, and it probably might kind of help this out a little bit. Because yeah. now that you see how we just transformed that room, I think you'll be able to go to the other rooms and like, Go with the same theory. Know what I mean? But okay. but that's looking good. And see, now I don't even give a shit about that thing we were trying to fix on the corner wall. See what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. The reason why is because the wood grain is so different from the wall that it instantly separates. Right? It instantly separates. It's like, okay, I can very clearly tell that that's just a nice clean wall that comes down and ends right there at the wood. And I'm, I'm moving on, you know, and mentally I'm moving on. It's like, I can just see everything nice and clear. But, um, yeah, but again, man, you could play around with things, things with graphics are a lot about contrast, right? We have all these very technological looking walls, very like hospital, very lab, uh, 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 right? If you offset it with something more natural, now it's like more acceptable to the eye. Yeah. It's more acceptable to the mentality. It's like, okay, like I can see the contrast between things. The, the, ultimate, the ultimate antithesis of what I'm saying is imagine you're in an insane asylum and it's just all white walls, right? You know what I mean? Like just yeah. all white, all black all green, right? You'd, you'd go crazy in like 10 minutes, right? So that's kind of like the battle with video game graphics to me is creating it so that it's cohesive, but there's enough contrast between the different elements that your brain instantly just understands. Like this is the, this is the floor, this is the ceiling, this is the walls, and I don't even have to think about it. It's just right there in my eyeball instantly. So anyway, Got it. 